Okay, let's make some salmon croquettes. So what I have here is my salmon in a can. I'm gonna empty that in my bowl. And it has little bones in it. I usually take them out if I can find them because I don't like them in my, uh... there we go. Get that out of there. I don't want it in my salmon. You don't have to take it out, but I do. Okay, now that I've got all of that out of there, Okay, so let's move back so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add some onions and some breadcrumbs. Just gonna enter those in there. Now, you don't have to put onions in it if you don't want, but I, I like the taste of onions, even though my husband doesn't, he'll pick them out. So let's add some red crushed peppers for a little heat. A little onion powder for some flavor. A little garlic powder for more flavor. And then what I'm going to add is seafood seasoning from Watkins. Hit me up if you're interested. Some smoked paprika. There we go. And then to this, I'm going to add an egg. There we go. Get all that in there. What I'm going to do. I'm going to mash this all up and make it into patties. And put in here and let's start mixing. Love salmon cookies. What I'm going to do after this, you know, I'm going to form these into little balls. Like so. Not only just good for breakfast. I used to have them for dinner with some cream style corn. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And these are pretty big. You can make yours small if you'd like. Got in there. And then my last one. Get rid of these gloves. Okay, so let's move over here to my skillet. My skillet's been heating, so it's pretty much heated. And what I'm going to do is just roll these in some flour. Like so. Pat them out a little bit. And then the grease they go. And the flour.
this is just canned salmon. There we go. Let's let those fry up a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give them a turn. Turn over. Mmm. Looking delicious. Come on, turn over for me. Okay, so these are all ready to take out. And what I'm going to do is take them out, put them in my pan, and put them in my oven so they can stay warm because nothing bothers me more than cold food. I'm just going to set these on here. Like so. There we go. What I'm going to do is stick these in the oven and move on to the next dish for my breakfast this morning. Because I'm pretty hungry. Okay, so what I'm going to get started on now is my grits to go with my fish. So, I'm going to use two cups of milk. One. And I'm going to put another cup. Not a lot, just a little. Butter makes everything good though. A little bit of butter. And a tad bit of salt. As you cook. Sprinkle just a little in. And then to that, I am going to and I'm going to start to whisk in my grits. Now the one thing I had to learn is that you don't cook grits like you cook any other hot cereal. It just doesn't go that way. So I'm just gonna keep these whisking around. And when these get nice and ready, I shall return. Okay, so my grits are now getting nice and thick. One thing about grits is you cannot let them just cook on their own. You have to stir them because they will stick. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just put my egg, put a little salt. And let's get a little pepper. I'll tell you. I haven't had a good breakfast like this in a while. And maybe I'll put a little salt in on there. Maybe this is like a blend of salt that I made. There we go. Let's get these eggs to cooking. A lot of people like theirs over easy. I can take them over easy, but not all the time. I'm gonna let those cook. I'm I'm more of a over hard. Okay, so I'm getting my eggs all fixed up. They're not working over easy for me, but that's okay. I'm still going to eat. So when I come back to you, I'm gonna plate this up and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna eat. Okay, so here's our breakfast. Salmon cakes, grits, and eggs. And I have my orange juice. 
So what I'm getting ready to do is enjoy my breakfast. Thank the good Lord for everything he's done for me. And I'm going to eat. And I won't eat on here because I do something to my grits that a lot of people don't do. I add sugar to them. So thanks for watching Exploring Food with Smitty. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a good one.